Hi everyone! First of all, in this vlog, I want to share with you new freebie pictures from the newest Christmas charm coloring book by Teresa Goodrich. I believe that it will be available from Amazon in a couple of days. The release date is 16 of September, but they were very generously already have shared with us some freebie pictures. And they are very cute, very festive, and I do love them. Maybe they are quite similar to this, to those pictures which I have in Country Charm and in uh, Winter Wonderland. So I am not sure if I want to purchase this book. Maybe for the next year. And so far, I will concentrate on finishing my book. But I definitely will be printing and coloring these freebie pictures. Also, Daver has shared a couple of pictures for the Day of Dead. They are definitely not my theme to color. But if you like to color such subjects, you can also download these freebies from Daver site. As usual, links for downloading will be down in the info box. And as usual on Saturdays, I will show you another part of Kyiv. Today I want to show you a couple of Orthodox churches in the central part of the Kyiv. The first one is St. Michael's Golden Dome Monastery. The first cathedral on this place was built in the beginning of the 12th century by one of the princes of Kievan Rus and as inside were stored the relics of Santa Barbara. There were a lot of um, pilgrims arrived there, so very quickly it became one of the most popular Orthodox centers in Kyiv. And also it is believed that it's the first church that um, was built with uh, domes covered by cold. So that's why it's mentioned in its name. Now it's a tradition for almost all Orthodox churches in Ukraine, in Russia. Then in 18th century, the whole structure of the monastery was rebuilt in the style of Ukrainian Baroque. And cathedral had a lot of uh, treasures inside. Apart from relics of many saints, it also had some um, treasures like uh, precious mosaics on the walls, like huge silver gates. And it was again quite a very popular and many people donated to the monastery, so it was quite rich. Unfortunately, in the beginning of the 20th century, in 1930, in the time of the USSR, the whole cathedral was completely destroyed. Precious mosaics and paintings were uh, moved to the St. Sophia Cathedral in Kyiv, but also in the museums in Moscow and Russia, and many uh, jewelry, many precious things like silver gates, they were sold abroad and many of the treasuries from the cathedral now are in United States. Only in the 1999 there were a decision to rebuild the whole structure of the cathedral, so the whole building is relatively new, but it repeats quite uh, 
accurate the look of the building which it had in the 18th and 19th century. I love to visit this place because of the two reasons. First of all, they have a wonderful rose garden and there is a huge variety of roses and they are um, in bloom during the whole summer and i love to look at how many colors sizes and shapes of roses they have they grow and the second reason is close to this huge cathedral there is a small church near and it's the only one building which remained safe and wasn't destroyed, so it's quite old. It's called the Refectory of St. John the Divine, and it's a small church, and attached to it there are premises of the kitchens and pantries for monks. The most interesting thing, thing is the roof, which is covered by wood. For me it's very beautiful, and I love to arrive at this place to look at roses and to look at this very old and very beautiful building. For me it's much more beautiful comparing to the newly built St. Michael's Cathedral.
And now I want to show you my favorite place in Kyiv. It's an area around St. Andrew Church. It's the most beautiful Baroque church in Ukraine. It was built in 1747 by a very famous architecture, Bartolomeo Rastrelli. He is also famous for building Winter Palace in St. Petersburg and many other beautiful places there. And here in Kiev we have the Marinsky Palace built by Rastrelli and St. Andrew's Cathedral. Fun thing is that um, traditionally almost all Orthodox churches they have to have bells, but St. Andrew's Church doesn't have them because according to the legend bells of the church would cause the flute of the left part of the uh, city situated on the bank of the river Dnipro. I have already mentioned that Kiev, central part of Kiev, was built on several hills. So the whole area around this church is narrow streets which are going up and down. It's very beautiful to look at and to walk even if you will need comfortable shoes. I do love this area and it's my favorite place since childhood. Quite often around this church, on the narrow streets around, there are art vernissages where amateur handmade crafters, artists, they sell, they demonstrate their art, their handmade things, so it's very interesting to work here. Unfortunately, now all this activity is very limited, but at least I managed to film a couple of artists who already started to return again to this beautiful area. It's a little bit similar to the Paris Montmartre area in Kyiv. I hope to show you this area more in my next videos, because the fall season probably is the most beautiful to look at the St. Andrew's Church. All trees around will be red, golden, yellow, so the church with its uh, turquoise and green colors, it will look beautiful surrounded by golden and red trees. I do appreciate that you left me so many warm comments beneath all my videos about Kyiv, about interesting places which I wanted to share with you. And I hope that you will also like this very old and very beautiful part of the old Kyiv.